Hey guys, so usually I know I'm talking to you about stocks, but today I want to talk to you about something different. I want to talk to you about commodities. And the reason I want to do that is because there's four types of income. There's earned income, that's the money you make from a job. Passive income, portfolio, and residual. Well, stock Money from stocks is what you would call portfolio, but also commodities is portfolio income and currencies is portfolio income. So I want to put a few videos on this channel talking about the different types of portfolio income. So just for you to be familiar, we're going to go into what is a commodity and basically in economics a commodity is an economic good usually a resource that spe specifically has full or substantial fungibility that is the market treats instances of the good as equivalent or nearly so with no regard to who produced them. And just to break that down in simpler terms, a uh, definition I've heard often is, a commodity is a real thing, but it's not any kind of real thing. It's something like, the they used one line here, they said, as equivalent or nearly so, with no regard to who produced them. Sugar is sugar, no matter who makes it. Coffee is coffee, no matter who makes it. Cashews are cashews, or whatever the case is. So that's what that means. Commodities are broken down into different categories. And just as options contracts are derivatives of stocks, future contracts are derivatives of commodities, which I'll explain more a little later. Just as a stock has a ticker symbol, each commodity has a symbol. We're not going to go through that here, but each commodity has a symbol. And stocks, currencies, and commodities provide portfolio income like we spoke about before. So let's get and in, jump into some of these commodities. So, like we said, commodities have different categories. Now we're going to look at these different categories. One category of commodities is agricultural, grains, food, and fiber. So corn is a commodity. Now, there's different weights or measures for these commodities, but corn, it has multiple. So I just put multiple there. Oats, 500 bushels. Oh, there was a mistake, oats again. Rough rice, 2,000 hundredth weight. A lot of these weights, I'm not even sure of what they are, whatever, if they're not American, but I'll read it to you anyway. Soybeans, there's multiple. Rapeseed, 50 tons. Soybean meal, then soy meal, then there's soybean oil, there's multiple of those. There's wheat, there's milk, cocoa, coffee, cotton, sugar, orange juice, azuki bean, I've never heard of before and Robusta Coffee are all commodities. 
The next category would be livestock and meat. We have lean hogs, live cattle, and feeder cattle. Our next category would be dairy. We have class three milk, cash settled butter, and non fat dry milk, and whole milk powder. Skim milk powder. Next category is energy. We have WTI crude oil, then there's Brent crude oil, there's ethanol, there's natural gas. There's heating oil, there's Gulf Coast gasoline, RBOB gasoline, propane, and let's see if I could pronounce this last one, purified terephthalic. Now we have forest products. It's random length lumber, hardwood pulp, and softwood pulp. We have industrial metals, and they're all the same weight, metric ton for all. It's tin, LME nickel, Aluminum, cobalt, aluminum alloy, and molybdenum. I'm hoping that's right. Then we have precious metals. It's gold, platinum, palladium, and silver. And then lastly is other, we have palm oil, rubber, wool, amber. Okay, so now we, we want to talk about the derivative of commodities, which are futures. What are futures? In finance, a futures contract is a standardized legal contract to buy or sell something at a predetermined price for delivery at a spe specified time in the future. Let me explain that better. Right now, it's November of 2023. Let's say that I own a chain of coffee shops. I want to buy coffee for my coffee shops to sell to my customers. But I have a problem. I can buy the coffee now and serve my customers. But what if around the same time next year, I go to buy the coffee and the price is just about doubled? That can happen with commodities. Gold goes up and down. Silver goes up and down. All the commodities go up and down. And if the prices of the coffee rises, 
that I can no longer serve my customers at the same price. Either I have to take a loss or I have to increase, increase prices for them, which may result in me losing customers. But there is a solution. And that solution is a futures contract. So what is a futures contract? A futures contract is where I have a contract with those who have the commodity. That this same time next year, November 2024, they're going to sell me so much coffee at a specified price. If the price of coffee goes up, then I benefit because I get coffee at a cheaper price. If the price of coffee goes down, then they benefit because they have a locked in price for their coffee. So that's a futures contract. Now, one more, one warning with futures. Like we said, commodities are real things. They're gold, they're cattle, all this type of stuff. If you have a futures contract, you have to make sure to close it before it expires. You don't want them delivering you a whole bunch of cattle. So, but in any event, that's what a futures contract is. It's a standardized legal contract to buy or sell something at a predetermined price for delivery at a specified time in the future. And when those contracts are created, they can appear on the financial markets and they go up and down in value based on what's happening. If the price of coffee starts to drop, then the futures contract may not be worth as much. If the price of coffee starts to really rise, then that futures contract is worth a whole lot more. And that's where speculators like us come in and make money on futures contracts. I haven't dealt with them very extensively, but I've dealt with futures contracts, and I'll give a story. During the COVID lockdown, um, I'm watching the news and I hear a story about how one of the biggest pork sellers in the United States was affected by COVID that people were getting sick so they had to let people leave. Now, they were just killing the swine, not even selling them. So, what happened to the price of that pork, which we saw as one of the commodities? It dropped dramatically. That gave me an opportunity to jump in, buy the contract when it started to move back up, sell it and make a little profit. So, a lot of times, news events can serve you when you're dealing with these financial markets. Other people look at news as just news. We look at it as opportunity. Somebody who's dealing in the oil, they start hearing things on the news about oil. They know what kind of moves to make. Um, when a few years ago, they were talking about Brexit back in England, and that provided opportunity for those dealing with 
currencies. Or you may hear a story about um you may hear a story about a particular company that'll tell you what to do with stocks. But in any event, that is that explains what futures are. Futures are derivatives of commodities, just like options are for stocks. Now, there's a website, Finviz, www.finviz.com. They deal with different types of financial instruments. But if you look at the top, they deal with futures as well. If I click on futures, it shows me charts for the multiple different futures. Like I said, when you understand technical analysis, technical analysis is used for stocks, currencies, and commodities. You can also come here and click. They have the five-minute hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. But what I like is if I, I if I scroll down a little more, I'll see the performance, whether it's for the day, week, month. So you can look down here. This isn't the bottom, but this is a screenshot. You can look at the bottom and see what commodities are really uh, down at the bottom, which could possibly be moving up in some time. So, in any event, I'm sure you can find more detailed information out there about commodities, but I just wanted to provide an introduction for you guys about what commodities are and what are futures, and in a future date, I'll be dropping a video talking about what are currencies. Okay, guys, look forward to speaking to you in the next video.